Lin Moyu saw clearly the owner of the branch, a big tree about three meters high. Lin Moyu's fingertips glowed slightly, and the detection technique was released. Detection is a skill that everyone knows, and it can obtain some basic information. Long Whip Tree Level 8 Introduction Usually in a dormant state, it will attack passing life forms. Why didn't the skeleton warrior attack when it ran over just now? Skeleton warriors are not living beings and have no breath of life. So the skeleton warrior will not cause the whip tree to attack, and when he came in, the long whip tree attacked him. The whip tree continued to attack Lin Moyu. Although it will not cause any harm, Lin Moyu is not a fool, it is impossible to stand like this and let you hit him. Quickly retreated tens of meters, out of the attack range of the long whip tree. The long whip tree does not move, and it will not attack after Lin Moyu retreats. The long branches are constantly dancing, as if in vigilance. It's really well intentioned. Lin Moyu understood the good intentions of the dungeon designer, from low level monsters that have been greatly weakened to level 8 monsters with the same strength as the outside world. They also selected level 8 monsters, choosing such a plant based monster that can sneak attack but can't move. The long whip tree has the characteristic of sneak attack, allowing novice professionals to experience the dangers of the wild early. The long whip tree cannot move, and there is no such thing as chasing and killing professionals. Once in danger, novice professionals can retreat calmly and get out of its attack range. Moreover, the attack range of the long whip tree is exactly the same as that of several long-range occupations. This also cuts off the possibility of remote career opportunism. It is designed so that novices can play against real level 8 monsters in a safe situation. The entire novice dungeon has the atmosphere of protecting novices and cultivating newcomers. In the case of reducing casualties as much as possible, let the newcomers adapt to actual combat and grow. The skeleton warrior ran back amidst bursts of bone like clicking. A total of 16 skeleton warriors guarded Lin Moyu like an army. With the thought of Lin Moyu, a skeleton warrior rushed towards the whip tree. To the non living body like the skeleton warrior, the long whip tree didn't respond at all. It wasn't until the skeleton warrior made the first move and slashed at the tree with a big knife in his hand that the whip tree began to fight back. The huge branch was like a long whip whipped on the skeleton warrior, making a metal beating sound. The whip tree's attack speed was very fast, the branches danced like crazy, and three or four attacks landed on the skeleton warrior every second. But the attributes of the skeleton warrior are too high, as high as 550 physique, super thick physique and defense. Some small cracks appeared in the attacked bones, but they quickly recovered. Huh? Didn't get killed in seconds. Lin Moyu was slightly surprised. The monsters from level 1 to level 7 are all the result of a one-shot kill, but when it comes to level 8 monsters, the situation has changed. The skeleton warrior failed to instantly kill the target for the first time. Is this the strength of wild monsters? See how many knives you can withstand. One knife, two knife, three knife. After four cuts, the long whip tree stopped all movements. Kill level 8 long whip tree. Experience, plus 160. Seeing the reminder, the experience is much more than that of the level 7 brown bear. Lin Moyu calculated that in terms of cost performance, it would be more cost-effective to kill level 7 monsters. After all, it's one knife and 70 experience points. The long whip tree at level 8 needs four knives and only 160 experience points. It looks high, but in fact, the single-handed cost-effective gain has fallen. However, we must also consider the problem of finding strange time. If you spend all your time looking for monsters, it would be uneconomical to find low-level monsters. Looking at the forest ahead, there are densely packed trees, most of which are level 8 long whip trees. As long as you look carefully, long whip trees can still be distinguished from ordinary trees. Here don't look for blame. There are hundreds of them just as far as the eyes can see. In this way, the efficiency is greatly improved. This is simply a treasure land of leveling for him. 
even Lin Moyu was a little excited at this time. With a thought, the skeleton warriors immediately separated and rushed towards various forests. The knives in their hands kept falling on the whip tree. Four knives each, very straightforward. Experience started to soar again. Everyone else's upgrade speed is greatly reduced after level 5, but Lin Moyu is getting faster and faster. It was originally expected to take more than an hour to complete the upgrade. As a result, after only 50 minutes, Lin Moyu was promoted to level 6. Outside the dungeon, the sky gradually darkened. The time has come to 7 o'clock in the evening. It has been a full 10 hours since I entered the copy at 9 o'clock in the morning. Lu Yun, the principals, and Xiao Dong Yang still did not move. They had already had tea for the day, and it was brought to them when they ate. Several principals are like this every year, and they will always guard the students on the first day they enter the novice dungeon. Although accidents are rare, there is no guarantee of safety. Because it is actual combat, injuries are unavoidable, but there have also been cases where students died in novice dungeons. Xia Dongyang didn't leave either. Xia Shui was in the dungeon, so he, a father, was also worried. He missed his daughter's class transfer ceremony, and he didn't want to miss his daughter's first instance. The entrance of the dungeon suddenly emitted a brilliant light, and everyone looked up at the entrance of the dungeon at the same time. Someone came out. It's not time yet, so there must be an accident. There are two entrances and exits in the dungeon, one is in the deepest part of the dungeon, you can see it through the forest guarded by level 8 monsters. The other is where you enter the dungeon, and you can also exit the dungeon from here. Lin Moyu stepped out of the light. Lu Yun walked over quickly, Moyu, why did you come out? Lin Moyu said softly, I finished the dungeon principle. Killed them all and swept the dungeon? This made Lu Yun unable to understand for a while. Lin Moyu spoke too calmly, without even a little expression on his face. In the next second, Lu Yun saw Lin Moyu's level. Lin Moyu, necromancer, level 7. Lu Yun was numb, with an expression of disbelief. You, level 7? The same is true in the tone, Lu Yun even suspected that he was wrong. Shock occupied the brain, and he couldn't react for a while this is something that never happened. Previously the highest record was only level 5, but now Lin Moyu broke the dungeon directly at level 7. Just 10 hours. There are not enough monsters in it, otherwise I should be able to reach level 8. Principal Lu, I want to apply to go to the suburbs of Shihai City. Lin Moyu took it for granted, and at the same time applied for leaving the city. No one thought that there would be a day when all the monsters in the dungeon would be killed. Every time you re-enter the instance, the monsters inside will also be reset. No one has ever been able to clear the entire dungeon of monsters within 12 hours. After all, this is a novice dungeon, and everyone who enters it is a novice. A novice professional with few skills, weak combat power, and no experience. Especially the deepest level 8 monsters. Their strength is not low. It is really the same monster as in the wild. But Lin Moyu did it, and it only took less than 10 hours. Completely break the expectations and break the record. Lu Yun thought a lot, but he just couldn't figure it out, and he was numb with shock. Teacher Lu? Seeing that Lu Yun didn't respond, Lin Moyu asked again, and waved his hand in front of his eyes. After a while, Lu Yun finally came back to his senses and repeatedly agreed, okay, okay, I agree, and I will give you a permit to leave the city. You take a rest first, and wait for the students to come out before going. Lin Moyu proved his strength with practical actions and got the permit for getting out of the city. His plan can also go smoothly. Lu Yun returned to the table, and the other principals looked at him curiously. Old Lu, what happened to you just now? Why did that classmate come out early? Is there something wrong? Yeah, he wasn't injured, right? Why did he come out alone, where are his teammates? Lu Yun drank three cups of tea and took two deep breaths, before speaking, he is Lin Moyu. He cleared the novice dungeon and killed all the level 8 monsters. Hiss. Several principals gasped. 
Even Xiaodong Yang, who was used to seeing strong winds and waves, was shocked at this moment. They noticed that Lin Moyu himself was level 7. Not mentioning anything else, upgrading from level 1 to level 7 in 10 hours is already an incredible level up speed. What's more, he can kill all the level 8 monsters in the dungeon, which is enough to show how strong Lin Moyu's combat power is. The hidden profession is really powerful. Xia Dongyang sighed, it can only be explained in this way, Lin Moyu's career is very powerful. Based on this calculation, the necromancer profession should exceed the rare professions known so far, and can be completely comparable to legendary professions. I don't know how strong the legendary class is, after all, we have never seen it. But we have seen the rare class, and it is not this efficient. I just don't know if it will still be so strong after leveling up. Indeed, for example, the elemental mage awakened by Xia Xue this time is actually like this at the beginning, and it is not much different from other mage classes. But if you can get the passive skill of element enhancement, it will be comparable to a legendary profession eventually. Several principles are experienced and experienced. I know that some careers are very strong at the beginning, but they start to weaken after they reach higher levels. There are also some professions that are not very good at the beginning, but become stronger and stronger after they grow. And it also depends on skills and talents, and there are huge differences between the same profession. In hundreds of occupations, there are all kinds of situations, and it is difficult to say in one word. Lu Yun glanced at Lin Moyu, who was meditating not far away, with some expectation in his heart. At least for now, Lin Moyu's necromancer profession is very powerful, and it seems that we will not be in charge of the future. It's true, if he can be admitted to Xia Jing Academy, then it's Xia Jing Academy's business. Xia Dongyang said, Xia Xiwei has been competitive since she was a child, and I'm afraid she will be hit this time. Lu Yun couldn't help laughing, not just this time, you are often away from home. In fact, in the past few years, Lin Moyu's grades have been surpassing Xia Xue's. Xia Xue has been the second best for three years. That's it. Xia Dongyang smiled wryly, Xia Xue never told himself. He understood his daughter's temper, the more she kept silent, the more angry she felt. Lin Moyu regained his spiritual power through meditation. At this time, the number of his skeleton warriors has reached 24, but there are 70 positions in the summoning space. The number of skeleton warriors only accounted for one-third. It will take a lot of time for him to fill up the remaining positions. The time came to nine o'clock in the evening. The twelve-hour dungeon time was finally over, and the students who entered were teleported out one by one. After a twelve-hour battle, many students were tired but more excited. The feeling brought by actual combat is completely different from learning in books. Many people were injured, and there was a strong smell of blood. A gust of wind blew and a teacher released his skills to dispel the smell of blood. The tutors of each school acted quickly, gathered their students together, and counted the number of students, checking to see if anyone is injured and needs medical treatment. After some busy work, the result is not bad, everyone is intact. Most of the people have been promoted to level 3, and a few powerful ones have reached level 4. Xiaoshua was also excited. After a day of fighting, she has reached level 5, tying the highest record for a novice dungeon. I will definitely not lose this time. The highest record is level 5, and I have already tied the highest record. Where did that guy go? After coming out, I didn't see Lin Moyu. After looking around, I saw Lin Moyu meditating in the distance. When did he come out? Then her eyes widened, and she froze in place as if she had been electrocuted and her whole body was numb. How is it possible, how did he reach level 7, Xia Xue? Xia Dongyang's voice brought Xia Xue back to her soul. Dad, why are you here? Xia Xue walked up to Xia Dongyang and called obediently. At this moment, Xia Xue didn't look arrogant at all. Xia Dongyang's eyes were doting, let's go, let's go back home. Xia Dongyang came by car so they didn't need to go back with the imitation bus. Xiaoshua followed Xia Dongyang into the car, 
but she couldn't stop looking at Lin Moyu. She really wanted to see through Lin Moyu, really wanted to know how this guy got to level 7. Xia Dongyang noticed his daughter's eyes. Are you competing with Lin Moyu? Xia Shui was like a deflated ball. Yeah, I lost again. This guy is too good. Xia Dongyang laughed. Haha, do you want dad to take care of it? No, I don't want your help. Before Xia Dongyang could finish speaking, Xia Shui had resolutely refused. My own business, I will solve it myself, and I will not lose to this idiot forever. Xia Shui snorted, the fighting spirit in her eyes was burning. Xia Dongyang smiled even more happily, okay, then dad doesn't care. But dad wants to tell you that Lin Moyu came out in ten hours, and he came out after killing all the level eight monsters in the novice dungeon. Xia Shui was startled again. He killed all level eight monsters. She thought that she had just walked to the area of level 7 monsters, and she had never seen even level 8 monsters. She felt that she could single out a level 7 monster at level 5, which was already very powerful. Unexpectedly, Lin Moyu killed all the level 8 monsters and came out two hours earlier. In other words, if there were more level 8 monsters, maybe this guy would be promoted to level 8 directly. Is there such a big gap between me and him? Even if Xia Shui refused to admit defeat, she was a little frustrated now. Xia Dongyang said, each profession has its own characteristics. Some professions are powerful when they are at the low levels, and some professions will only exert their strength later. It doesn't matter if you win or lose for a while. Compared with him, you have an advantage. Xia Shui understood the meaning of Xia Dongyang's words. Her advantage is her family status, enough money, and enough resources. Whether it is props, equipment, or skills, there is no shortage. And someone like Lin Moyu, who has no power will lack money, equipment, skills and props later on. Anyway, I won't admit defeat. Even if you lead now, I will surpass you in the future. Xia Shui just slumped for two minutes and once again ignited her fighting spirit. Xia Dongyang is very satisfied, this is what his daughter should look like. On the school bus, Dao Yang purposely sat with Lin Moyu, I'm already level 4, I'm so good. It's very fun to bring a girl to fight monsters together, it's much more interesting than you fighting alone. Lin Moyu looked at this bastard, and asked him where would he not be happy? Wait, I wasn't paying attention just now. You are already level 7, how did you practice? Have you cleared all the monsters in the dungeon? I worked so hard to reach level 4. How did you get to level 7? Are you a fairy? Gao Yang's voice was so loud that the entire bus could hear it. Only then did everyone notice that Lin Moyu had really reached level 7. When everyone is around level 3, and level 4 is considered awesome, Lin Moyu has already reached level 7. All of a sudden, the bus became lively, although many people are still afraid of Lin Moyu and the skeleton warriors he summons. But it is also the normal psychology of many people to be close to the strong. Some wanted to talk to Lin Moyu and get in touch with their classmate. But Lin Moyu's silent appearance, coupled with the horror of the skeleton warrior, still made them hesitate. Quiet. Lu Yun gave a low grunt and the bus that had just started to make noise suddenly fell silent again. Dao Yang rubbed his head, I was too excited just now, boss, can you take me to level up? Lin Moyu said, if there is a chance, yes. Dao Yang was overjoyed immediately, then it settled. Early the next morning, Dao Yang couldn't find Lin Moyu at the school gate. Mr. Lu, why isn't Lin Moyu here? Lu Yun said, he went to the suburbs of Shihai City. Ah. Only then did Gao Yang realize that he was played by Lin Moyu, no wonder he promised so happily yesterday. He couldn't help but let out a scream, Lin Moyu, you cheated me. I would have set my heart to the bright moon, but the bright moon shines in the ditch. I can't finish with you, I want to fight you. Lin Moyu has already arrived in the south of Shihai City by car. The tall city wall runs across here separating the living area of the human race from the monster area. Leaving the city wall will enter the wild monster area, where the weakest monsters are all level 10. Compared with the monsters in the novice copy, the monsters here are much stronger. 
Similarly, you can gain more experience by fighting monsters here, and you can also harvest various materials. With a little luck, some monsters will even drop weapons and equipment. These things can be used by himself or sold for money. There are many shops on both sides of the street at the entrance and exit of the city wall. There are blacksmith shops, weapon shops, jewelry shops, armor shops, and more. The most important of these is the Xinxia Empire Exchange. The exchange is officially opened by the Xinxia Empire, and it spreads through all the large, medium, and small cities all across the country. In the exchange, you can freely buy and sell equipment, materials, and other items. That is, you can sell things directly to the exchange, or you can consign them on the exchange. In addition to buying and selling equipment, various tasks can be handed over in the exchange. This is the first time for Lin Moyu to come to the exchange, and he has only seen it in books before. In the Xinxia Empire Exchange, there are hundreds of stone pillars half the height of a person. A magic crystal is inlaid above each stone pillar, and all functions of the exchange can be completed through this magic crystal. This market-like system is also known as the highest skill embodiment of god-level alchemy. Lin Moyu found an empty seat and put his hand on the magic crystal. Start Authentication Authentication successful, Lin Moyu, a citizen of the Xinxia Empire, allowed to use Xinxia Empire Exchange. Contribution, 0, Permission, Level 1 The Xinxia Empire Exchange is only open to the citizens of the Xinxia Empire. Lin Moyu has the permission to use the exchange, but the permission level is very low, only one level. If you want to have greater authority, you need to increase your contribution. But that's all for the future and has nothing to do with him for the time being. He took a quick look at the items for sale on the exchange. Weapons, armor, jewelry, materials, everything. But nothing is cheap. Lin Moyu only has about 100 gold coins which is not even the cheapest black iron weapon. As for the more expensive bronze and silver grades, with just a look, they have nothing to do with him. After Lin Moyu wrote down the value of some low-level materials, he began to check the task missions again. The level of monsters in the suburbs of Shihai City is concentrated between level 10 and level 20, which belongs to the low-level area. The number of related tasks is not too much, most of them are tasks of collecting materials. Unlimited recycling of green sprout grass, each recycling price is 50 gold coins. Unlimited recycling of black wolf fur, each recycling price is 20 gold coins. Unlimited recycling of animal bones, each recycling price is 30 gold coins. Alchemists, blacksmiths and other life professions will need a lot of materials for skill training. They will process the materials into useful items and sell them to obtain a certain income. During skill training, lifestyle professionals can also increase their level. In this way, a good cycle has been formed, and even life professionals have good room for development. Well, this task is a bit interesting. Strategy Level 14 West Sea Mine Dungeon Get the Dungeon Boss, the Crystal Nucleus of the Goblin King Note, only dungeon bosses with difficulty above the nightmare level will drop. The reward given by the task is 100,000 gold coins. To be able to get such a price, it is obvious that this task is difficult. The Shihai Mine is located in the south of Shihai City, just over 50 kilometers away. Lin Moyu didn't plan to go, the level 14 dungeon requires a minimum level of 10 to enter the dungeon, his current level is not enough. The dungeon difficulties are divided into normal, nightmare and hell. How difficult is the nightmare level? Lin Moyu doesn't know. According to the description in the book, the difficulty of the nightmare level is at least several times higher than that of the normal level. Without a strong team, it is basically impossible to attack. As for the hell level difficulty, it is not something ordinary professionals can go to. After watching it for a while, Lin Moyu left the exchange and came to the gate of the city. Lin Moyu, Level 7, Necromancer? The city gate guards took the exit certificate given by Lin Moyu and confirmed Lin Moyu's information. Although very puzzled, how did the 7th grade school agree to the other party going out of the city? You must know that the monsters outside the city start at least level 10. 
In the case of a difference of three levels, it is very dangerous, but Moyu's permit to leave the city turned to be true, and the city gate guards quickly passed the verification. Your certificate of leaving the city has come into effect. Unless there are special circumstances, you can freely enter and leave the major cities of our Shinsha Empire. There are a lot of monsters outside, pay attention to safety, and be careful with everything. If you can't, run back quickly. It doesn't matter if you lose face or not, your life is important, Junior. Especially at night, some monsters will choose the darkness to carry out sneak attacks. The gate guard kindly told Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu saluted him slightly, thank you, I will be careful. Walking out of the city gate, a gust of cold wind blows head on. The sky suddenly darkened for a few minutes, and the air was filled with oppressive atmosphere. Inside and outside the city are like two worlds. This city wall is not simple. A city wall divides two worlds. Lin Moyu stepped forward and quickly disappeared into the wilderness. The air became more and more oppressive, and seemed to smell of bloodthirst. From time to time, the roar of beasts could be heard in the distance. Occasionally, people can be seen fighting monsters here. Basically, all people here above level 10. The city wall behind him has long disappeared, and his sight is shrouded in a thin layer of fog. With a thought, a skeleton warrior walked out of the summoning space. At this time, there were twenty-eight skeleton warriors in the summoning space. After recovering his mental strength through meditation last night, Lin Moyu summoned four more skeleton warriors. Lin Moyu looked at a monster twenty meters away, go, kill the monster. The skeleton warrior ran over with a clicking sound. At the same time Lin Moyu also threw a detection spell in the past. Goblin Patrol Level, 10 Power, 120 Agility, 50 Spirit, 50 Physique, 120 Skill, none A level 10 goblin patrolman with a ferocious face, holding a mace. This monster is mainly based on strength, and its agility and spirit are very low. The physique is not bad, which shows that the skin is rough and the flesh is thick. But this kind of attribute is nothing compared to the skeleton warrior whose four-dimensional attribute reaches 750. Here, the main monsters are the goblin hordes. They occupy a very large area, all the way to the West Sea Mine, 50 kilometers away, belong to the goblin group. The skeleton warrior rushed to the goblin in the blink of an eye. The goblin noticed the skeleton warrior and launched an attack first, and the mace smashed towards him with a whistling sound. The skeleton warrior was hit by the mace without dodging or evading, making a loud bang. The goblin patrol was so powerful that even the skeleton warrior couldn't help shaking. But that's all, the skeleton warrior has already raised the tattered sword in his hand and slashed at it. The goblin patrol was slashed, screamed, and swung the mace harder to fight back. So you hit me with a stick, and I cut you with a knife. Back and forth shots rang out with each impact, the fight is exhilarating. The mace that hit the skeleton warrior, although it made the skeleton shake a few times, it couldn't cause any real damage. However, when the skeleton warrior's knife fell on the goblin patrol, it did real damage. After five cuts, the goblin patrolman let out a scream and fell into a pool of blood. Kill level 10 goblin patrol. Experience, plus 300. Obtain goblin's bones. There is an extra bone material in Lin Moyu's storage space. Everyone will get a storage space after changing jobs, and as the level increases, the storage space will also become larger. Various items, materials, equipment, and food can be stored inside, which is very convenient. Lin Moyu tried whether he could put the skeleton warrior in it, but he couldn't. After killing a goblin patrolman, Lin Moyu already knew the strength of a level 10 monster. Generally speaking, there is not much difference between monsters of the same level. With a thought, all 28 skeleton warriors were released. Just like in the novice dungeon, these skeleton warriors quickly dispersed and began to look for enemies individually. The density of monsters in the wild area was much higher than that of the novice dungeon and Lin Moyu's experience began to rise rapidly again, 
faster than in the novice dungeon. Kill level 10 goblin patrol, experience, plus 300. Obtain goblin's bones. Kill level 10 terrifying gray wolf, experience, plus 280. Obtain wolf skin. The reminder started swiping the screen like a bullet, and Lin Moyu was a little dizzy watching it. At this rate, it would take less than an hour, at most, to reach level 8. That's right. Lin Moyu clenched his fist, feeling a little excited in his heart. At this rate, it shouldn't be a problem to reach level 15 before the big exam, right? But truthfully after the higher level, it's hard to say, it depends on the experience changes after level 10. The skeleton warriors strode forward, which also attracted the attention of some professionals. When they saw the skeleton warrior for the first time, they thought it was a monster. After using the probe, it was discovered that this was a summoned object. It's just that this summon is too strong. Killing a level 10 monster is as easy as chopping melons and vegetables. Some people already want to find the summoner through the skeleton warrior. Fortunately, the skeleton warrior was far away, and Lin Moyu took back the skeleton warrior remotely, leaving the opponent without a trace. Lin Moyu turned away from the wilderness and walked into the forest. The terrain of the forest is complex, the vision is worse and monsters often attacked, which is more dangerous. So most people don't like to go into the forest. The skeleton warriors all scattered and wandered in the forest, and the complex terrain had no effect on them. A topographic map gradually formed in Lin Moyu's mind, with every plant and tree clearly visible. An hour later, the upgrade light appeared on Lin Moyu. His level has reached level 8. The skeleton warriors kept killing one monster after another without stopping, continuously bringing experience and materials to Lin Moyu. Nobody has ever been able to level up as easily as he has. A mage's mental power will be exhausted, knights also get tired after a long fight. Rest and recovery are required in any profession. Skeleton warriors don't need it. As long as they are alive and not broken up, they can go on forever. No wonder. Lin Moyu looked at the empty grove. In just over an hour, the monsters inside had been emptied by him. Lin Moyu had to leave the grove and go deeper. Before he knew it, he was getting farther and farther away from Shihai City. Going all the way to spawn monsters is no longer limited to level 10 monsters. Level 11, 12 or even 13 level monsters can be killed casually. At most, the skeleton warrior would cut a few more knives. The physique of the skeleton warrior is high here, you can't cut me down, but I can kill you. It's that simple. Level 8 characters brought a group of skeleton warriors with super high attributes, and where Lin Moyu went, not a single monster survived. By the afternoon, Lin Moyu's experience had reached level 9, 99%, just one step away from level 10. At this time, the number of skeletons has reached 40, like a tired and terrifying army, rampaging in this area, no one can beat them. You can learn new skills at level 10, but unfortunately I don't have a skill scroll. It seems that we can only use innate skills. Fortunately, the innate skills are strong enough, even if there are no new skills, it will not affect the upgrade speed. Professionals can learn new skills every 10 levels. There are three ways to learn skills, one is to learn from an instructor, the other is to learn through a skill book, and the third is to use the skill scroll. Hidden professions like Lin Moyu are basically taught without a mentor. Moreover, he is a unique profession, and there are no skill books for him to learn from. The only way is to learn through skill scrolls. Skill scrolls can be bought in the exchange. The primary skill scrolls used by professionals below level 20 cost 100,000 gold coins each. Very expensive. Using the skill scroll can randomly obtain the skills of this profession, but there is also a troublesome problem. The skills learned by the skill scroll are random, and it is also possible to learn the skills twice. If such an incident occurs, the 100,000 gold coins will be in vain. What's more, there will be more advanced intermediate skill scrolls and advanced skill scrolls in the future, and the price is even more astronomical. 
but Lin Moyu wants to learn new skills in this profession, and this is the only way. While Lin Moyu was thinking, the light of upgrade came on again. Finally reached level 10. Name, Lin Moyu. Occupation, Necromancer, Unique. Level, 10, 0%. Power, 100. Agility, 100. Spirit, 300. Physique, 100. Equipment, none. Summon space, 40 slash 100, Skeleton Warriors, quantity, 40. Talent, Comprehensive Amplification, level 2, unique. Passive skill, damage transfer. Active skills, Soul Flame, level 10, Summon Skeleton Warrior, level 10. Comprehensive Amplification, level 2, the effects of all skills are increased by 20 times. Damage transfer, all damage suffered by the master is borne by the summoned object. Soul Flame, level 10, burn the target's soul, causing burning damage. The power depends on one's own mental power and skill level. Summon Skeleton Warrior, level 10, summon a bronze rank Skeleton Warrior. Lin Moyu looked at his attributes after upgrading. His strength and agility didn't change much. Every time he upgraded, he would increase by 10 points, which was very stable. On the contrary, the mental power directly reached 300 points, a full increase of 120 points. It is said that there will be a big increase in attributes after level 10. I belong to the mage profession, and the biggest change is mental power. Then he saw the change in his skills, and he became excited. The amplification talent has become stronger again, from a tenfold increase to a twentyfold increase. Even under the condition that nothing remains the same, the combat power of the skeleton warrior will increase many times. What's more, the level of the skeleton warrior has also changed, from the black iron skeleton warrior to the bronze skeleton warrior. Lin Moyu couldn't wait to recruit a skeleton warrior. The gray of the bronze level skeleton warrior has disappeared, replaced by a bluish white color. The cracks on his body have almost completely disappeared, and even the knife in his hand is a little brighter. At least it's not like picking it up from the trash. Bronze Rank Skeleton Warrior Power, 3000 Agility, 3000 Spirit, 3000 Physique, 3000 Skill, Berserk Strike, Level 1 Berserk Strike, Level 1 deal damage equal to 200% of the target's own power, with a cooldown of 10 minutes. It is still the attribute of 4-dimensional balance, and the basic attribute has reached 150 points. After the 20-fold bonus of the overall increase, all attributes reached an astonishing 3,000 points. Based on the information Lin Moyu currently possesses, it is impossible to judge how many levels of occupation this attribute is equivalent to. But with this attribute, Lin Moyu can walk sideways in this area. In addition, a skill has been added to give the Skeleton Warrior the ability to explode instantly. This is a new trick, can you use it all over the world? Lin Moyu thought of a sentence from his previous life. There is no need for complicated and gorgeous skills. Only one or two practical and powerful skills are enough to rule the world. This is the case with him now, that is, he does not have the gorgeous spells of a mage. Nor do they have the dazzling combat skills of fighters. Just based on his current skills, he dared to say that people below level 20 could not be his opponents. It is impossible for others to defeat level 20 at level 10, but it is not difficult for him. With the attributes of the skeleton warrior and his passive skills, it would take a long time to kill him even if he was beaten by a level 20 standing still. Lin Moyu was about to continue summoning the bronze rank skeleton warrior when there was a sound of breaking wind, followed by a sharp arrow flying past his eyes. Whizzing, another few sharp arrows flew past his eyes. One of the arrows hit him. An invisible film appeared, blocking the sharp arrow. The passive skill was activated automatically, and all the damage was transferred to the skeleton warrior, and Lin Moyu was not injured. Being attacked, Lin Moyu was reminded, and at the same time, red light appeared in the eyes of the skeleton warrior, and he was already on alert. A woman in black ran out of the woods, his running speed was very fast, 
and his agility attribute was not low. Lin Moyu thinks it should be an assassin class. She saw Lin Moyu quickly turned around and ran towards the other side and disappeared in the blink of an eye. Two seconds after the woman in black left, someone chased after her. The two of them, looking at their attire, Lin Moyu probably judged the other's occupation. Archers, and a mage. Needless to say, the arrows just now were shot by archers, if it wasn't for Lin Moyu's passive ability of damage transfer, he would definitely be injured now. The two also ignored Lin Moyu and quickly chased forward. Lin Moyu's eyes flickered. The direction is wrong. The men in black changed direction here, they went the wrong way, and they were doomed to return in vain. Sure enough, only a few seconds later, the two returned again. The mage started to use his skills, Lin Moyu felt a gust of wind blowing around. A few seconds later, the mage sighed, that girl is very cunning, she has already escaped. Archer said, it doesn't matter, she only escaped for a while, and she will be caught. Then, he looked at Lin Moyu, little guy, did a woman in black pass, by just now? Lin Moyu didn't answer, but whispered, your arrow hit me. The archer looked at the arrows on the ground and understood, I'm sorry. Lin Moyu waved his hand, this is not an example. The archer had an illusion, as if Lin Moyu was looking down on him from above. The mage looked gloomy, and he was obviously very upset that the other party had escaped. He turned his head to look at the skeleton warrior, beside Lin Moyu. Undead summoner. There was a trace of disgust in his eyes, and the staff in his hand slowly raised up. There was a red light in the skeleton warrior's eyes, and he had entered a fighting stance. The archer suddenly stopped the mage and whispered, don't cause trouble. The mage rolled his eyes, and finally put down his staff, got it. Looking at the two people retreating, Lin Moyu said lightly, you are lucky. Although there is no detection technique, judging from the power of the arrow just now, the attack power is not great. The level of these two people will not be too high, at most around level 20. If they tried to attack him just now, Lin Moyu felt that he might kill them. He is not the Holy Mother. If he is bullied and threatened, he will definitely pay it back a hundredfold. When the mage raised his staff, just now, Lin Moyu had already brought all the skeleton warriors back to the summoning space. They can be surrounded in an instant. Once they do it, they will definitely be cut to pieces. Kill level 10 goblin patrols, experience, plus 300. Kill level 11 goblin soldiers, experience, plus 350. Obtain goblin bones. Tips flooded in like swiping the screen, and the experience was also rising rapidly. 44 bronze level skeleton warriors are killing monsters in the forest. With the improvement of skills, Lin Moyu once again enjoyed the thrill of instant killing. These bronze level skeleton warriors killed level 10 and level 11 goblin monsters in one blow. Efficiency has improved again. Starting from level 10, the experience requirement for upgrading has increased again, and it has increased by nearly three times. Upgrades are getting slower and slower. According to this calculation, at least 5,000 goblin monsters must be killed for Lin Moyu to advance to a level. The skeleton warrior was tireless and killed in seconds all the way, but it was still close. Until the night falls, Lin Moyu is 30% short of level 11 experience. Lin Moyu built a bonfire in the forest and ate food brought from home. He didn't plan to go back. Time was limited and he couldn't waste it on the road. According to the current level up speed, we can almost reach level 13 tomorrow, but it's not clear whether we can reach level 15 the day after tomorrow. After level 15, the upgrade speed will drop further, and I will have to use a day to return. So I can upgrade to level 16 at most. How did my sister upgrade at that time? Although my sister is a legendary professional sword dancer, she can't upgrade faster than me. I must have missed something. Lin Moyu pondered in his memory, thinking about the knowledge he had learned in school, and combined with Lin Mohan's action path at that time to make a judgment. Suddenly, he realized something. The copy of the West Sea Mine. Could it be that my sister teamed up with someone to sweep the dungeon? And at least it's a nightmare-level dungeon. 
Nightmare level dungeons are full of enhanced elite monsters, and they must have a lot of experience. So my sister was injured when she came back that time and was treated. Yes, it must be so. Lin Moyu shook his fist, thinking that his guess must be right. I'll go and see tomorrow. I made up my mind. The night was getting deeper and deeper, and the monsters in a radius of 500 meters around him had been emptied. The skeleton warrior hid in the night, and he began to meditate. There are 44 skeleton warriors for protection, coupled with the existence of passive skills, there is no need to worry about safety issues at all. The forest at night is not completely quiet, occasionally the howling of wolves can be heard from a distance. There are also some rustling sounds of leaves being blown by the wind, which is a bit eerie. The temperature in the place where Lin Moyu is located is lower than other places and the existence of skeleton warriors makes the night wind turn into a cold wind. In the middle of the night, a skeleton warrior suddenly issued a warning, and Lin Moyu woke up from his meditation. The skeleton warrior found that someone was approaching where he was. Are you a professional who came to level up? There are not many people who come to the forest to level up in the middle of the night. Could it be that they got lost? Lin Moyu didn't move, but his heart had raised his vigilance. Outside, nothing is to be taken lightly. The fire is the best guiding light at night, soon someone appeared in Lin Moyu's sight. It's her. Lin Moyu had seen her in the afternoon, the fleeing woman in black. Is there anything to eat? The woman in black had a nice voice. A pair of big eyes are also bright and clear in the firelight. Lin Moyu took out a piece of sweet potato and handed it over. The only food he prepared was sweet potatoes and some water. The woman in black didn't feel disgusted. She took off his mask and started eating. It seemed that she was really hungry. Behind the mask is a very delicate and delicate face, which looks about 18 or 9 years old, exuding a youthful atmosphere. Lin Moyu did not use the detection technique. Using the detection technique on strangers is very impolite and may even attract hostility. Thanks. Before she could say a word, she coughed violently. She choked on talking to Lin Moyu while eating sweet potatoes. Lin Moyu took out a bottle of water and handed it over. The woman in black took a few sips before he calmed down. Thanks. She finally spoke clearly. Lin Moyu just nodded slightly, expressing his acceptance. The woman in black ate sweet potatoes bite by bite, Lin Moyu was fine, and the atmosphere fell into a strange silence. She doesn't eat fast, her movements are graceful. While eating, a pair of beautiful eyes looked at Lin Moyu from time to time, with a shimmer in his eyes, and Moyu didn't know what she was thinking. After eating, she finally said, What's your name? Seeing that Lin Moyu didn't answer, she continued, Don't you like talking? How about this? Let's use detection techniques on each other. Lin Moyu thought for a while and then nodded in agreement. The fingertips of the two shimmered at the same time, and they used the detection technique towards each other. Lin Moyu froze for a moment, the detection technique failed, and he didn't get any information. The man in black suddenly smiled coquettishly, as if he had succeeded in a trick, he he, there is nothing there. So your name is Lin Moyu, level 10, and your occupation is? Necromancer? I've never heard of this occupation, so strange. I saw a skeleton next to you this afternoon. Is that your summon? Undead summons are rare. She suddenly spoke more, one sentence after another. Why don't you speak? Don't tell me you are dumb, it doesn't look like it. Lin Moyu looked at her and asked lightly, why? She seemed to have seen a new land, her small face was full of surprise, so you really can talk. Why? Lin Moyu looked at her and asked again. She still smiled, asking why the detection technique failed? It's because of this. She took out a prop that looked like a badge. This is called a shielding badge. As long as you wear it, people whose level is not higher than your level will be invalid if they use detection on you. She put away the shielding badge, try using the detection technique on me now. Lin Moyu nodded and threw a detection spell. This time it worked. Ning Yi, level 19, Shadow Assassin. 
A gust of wind blew, and Ning Yi's smile disappeared instantly, and Lin Moyu also looked to the side. Lin Moyu has discovered the uninvited guests through the skeleton warrior. In addition to the archers and mages I saw today, there is now another knight with a sword and shield on his back. Three people surrounded them from different directions. Ning Yi frowned, and her delicate face also wrinkled. It's endless, isn't it just an intermediate skill scroll? They've been chasing me for a few days, and haven't given up yet. Ning Yi stomped her feet vigorously, and said to Lin Moyu, I'm leaving, I will play with you again when I have a chance. Whoosh! A sharp arrow shot from the darkness, Ning Yi reacted quickly and dodged sideways in an instant. The sharp arrow exploded with a bang, turning into two beams of light and landing on Lin Moyu and Ning Yi respectively. A huge mark suddenly appeared above the heads of Lin Moyu and Ning Yi, shining in the dark night, as if a bright headlight was on it. Oops, marked arrow. Ning Yi's face turned pale suddenly, she knew that something was wrong. Lin Moyu thought about the description of the marked arrow. This is an archer skill that marks the target, making it stand out and making it impossible to go invisible. Marked arrows are very effective for assassin classes, as they can limit the assassin's stealth skills, and when raiding dungeons, it can also be used to deal with some invisible monsters. Marked by the archers, the stealth skills are limited, and it is very difficult to escape. You can't escape this time. A sneer sounded, and the mage he met today came out of the forest. On the other side, the archer is standing on the tree. On the other side, the knights have also arrived. The mage held the staff, his cold eyes swept over Lin Moyu and Ning Yi. I knew you were in the same group. A dirty mouse-like assassin, paired with an evil and dark undead summoner, is a good pair. A faint light flashed in Ning Yi's hand, and a dagger glowing blue appeared in his hand. He has nothing to do with this matter. I will give you the skill scroll, and we will go our separate ways. The archer on the tree chuckled. It would be no problem if it was a day ago, but now, we think it's safer to kill you. The mage then said, the dead are the safest, so that no one will know that we have intermediate skill scrolls, which saves a lot of trouble. Ning Yi whispered, I'll hold them back for a while, you run away by yourself. Lin Moyu looked at her, what about you? I am a shadow assassin, night is my home field, and I naturally have a way to get out. Lin Moyu knew that Ning Yi was just talking, if Ning Yi had really fought well, she wouldn't have run today. Obviously, the opponent is stronger. As a shadow assassin, she might be able to get away before, but now that she is hit by the archer's marked arrow, her stealth skills will be invalidated, and it will be difficult to get out again. The archer said in a deep voice, The night is full of dreams, don't waste time, let's do it. The mage raised his staff, Not only you are going to die today, but this little guy is going to die too. The staff burst out with brilliant light, and a huge ball of light rose into the sky, illuminating the surrounding area like daytime. Illumination The mage's lighting technique can not only be used to illuminate, but also to dispel darkness and improve the mage's spell hit rate. The most important thing is that the lighting technique can also restrain the assassin's stealth skills. This also made Ning Yi even more uncomfortable. It's going to be desperate. A light flashed in Ning Yi's hand, and a blue dagger appeared in her hand, and her whole body tensed up. The big eyes narrowed slightly, their eyes became sharp, and they began to look for opportunities. The archer stands on the tree and has fully drawn the bow, ready to shoot at any time. The knight also took off his sword and shield, and assumed a charge skill pose. The mage's staff is shining brightly. The three of them surrounded the pair, leaving no chance for Ning Yi to escape. At this moment, Lin Moya raised his finger slightly, and a skeleton warrior appeared in front of him. Cut, it's a waste of effort, the mage showed a trace of disdain, as well as deep disgust. Big fireball. The mage gave a soft shout, and a huge fireball with a diameter of one meter appeared out of thin air, shooting at the two of them with raging flames. The big fireball can only be mastered by a mage at level 20, and it is very powerful. Once hit, it won't kill, but badly injure. Hide away. Ning Yi's pretty face changed, and she immediately pulled Lin Moyu back. 
While sending out the big fireball, the mage instantly released the spiritual entanglement. Ningyi was pulling Lin Moyu back when she suddenly felt a weight on her body and her speed slowed down. An invisible thin thread of mental power was extending from the staff, wrapping around the feet of the two. While Ningyi was entangled by mental power, the archer also made a move. There was a humming sound on the bowstring, and an arrow shot out. Three in a row. One of the archer's skills, one arrow turns three, which can cause three times the attack. At this time, the knight also launched a charge, charging towards the two at an astonishing speed. It's over. Ning Yi's face was pale. She suddenly pushed Lin Moyu away hard, pushing him out of attack range. At this moment, two skeleton warriors appeared on Ning Yi's left and right sides. The three skeleton warriors were like three shields, firmly protecting Ning Yi. The mage's big fireball landed on the skeleton warrior and exploded with a bang, bursting into flames. The archer's three consecutive beads fell on the skeleton warrior, making a metal like impact. At this time, the knight also collided with the skeleton warrior. The skeleton warrior remained motionless, but the knight was sent flying. Oops. In the flames, the skeleton warrior walked out slowly, his whole body glowing with bluish-white light, without any signs of injury. How can this be? The mage couldn't believe it when he saw this scene. He had already checked with control technique, Lin Moyu was only a level 10 necromancer. The level of the summoned object cannot exceed the necromancer itself, and it is only level 10. With his level 21 strength, he couldn't kill the opponent in seconds. The archers and knights were also stunned. What kind of summoned creature is this? It's so strong. Click. Click. Accompanied by the grinding sound of bones, skeleton warriors appeared around. A total of 44 skeleton warriors surrounded the three of them. Not only the three of them were stunned, but Ning Yi was also stunned. With wide eyes and her small mouth open, I couldn't believe it. It looked really cute. She had seen Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior today. The skeleton warrior, who is only level 10 still has many cracks all over his body, and the weapons in his hands are also dilapidated. It looks like it is vulnerable. How could it be so strong? The mage's level 20 skills can't even hurt it. Neither the archer's three consecutive balls nor the knight's charge can cause damage to it. Is this really a level 10 summon? A bit too strong. And quantity. Groups of flames lit up in the dark night, and skeleton warriors appeared silently, surrounding them. Lin Moyu didn't talk much, he walked back to Ning Yi with killing intent in his eyes. Kill. With a thought. The skeleton warrior immediately started. The mage's face changed drastically, his staff shook, and a shield appeared on his body. Energy Shield A mage's signature skill The higher the level of the mage, the stronger the skills, and the stronger the energy shield. It is said that those god-level mages are safe and sound under the strike of the forbidden spell with their shields. Mages have low agility and slow movement speed, so they cannot be as flexible as archers. And now surrounded by skeleton warriors, there is no room for him to dodge. The skeleton warrior raised his knife and dropped it, and the energy shield suddenly twisted violently. The mage's face changed drastically, and his energy shield was almost broken with just one blow. What are the attributes of these skeletons? Their attack power is so terrifying. There was no time for him to think about it, and the knife of the second skeleton warrior also fell. The energy shield shattered at the sound, turning into thousands of stars and dissipating. Resist the ring of fire. The mage released a skill again, and a huge ring of fire erupted, and several nearby skeletons were pushed more than ten meters away by the ring of fire. Before he could be happy for a second, his eyes went dark, and two skeletons had jumped to the top of his head. He was never given a chance to use his skills again. The knife flashed, and the mage's head shot up into the sky. In less than two seconds, the mage died. The archer was also being chased by the skeleton warriors at this time, very embarrassed and frantic. Witnessing the mage being killed with his own eyes, his eyes were full of fear. He is much more flexible than a mage, 
but he is still much worse than a skeleton warrior whose agility is as high as 3,000 points. He kept using his evasion skills, trying to get out of the siege of the skeleton warriors. It's a pity that the hard work time and time again has still come to naught. As the skeleton warrior pressed closer, the space for him to maneuver became smaller and smaller. Compared with the dead mage and the dying archer, the situation of the knight is much better. The knight glowed like a light bulb, launching his charging skills again and again and running towards the distance. This layer of light is stronger than the mage's energy shield, protecting him firmly. Even if the skeleton warrior's knife fell on him, it couldn't hurt him. It's extreme defense. I didn't expect this knight to master this skill. Lin Moyu thought of the knowledge of this skill. This is one of the core skills of a knight. Once activated, the defense will become extremely strong for a short time. I don't know exactly how strong it is, but someone has tried it. A level 20 knight can withstand the attack of a level 40 mage while using his ultimate defense. Although it can only be tolerated, it is enough to show how strong the ultimate defense skills are. A knight who has mastered ultimate defense and a knight who has not mastered it are like two different professions. However, extreme defense is not such an easy skill to learn. There is no corresponding skill book, so you can only learn it with skill scrolls. There is a lot of randomness. The knight fled frantically against the limit defense. There was a scream behind him, and he knew that the archer was also dead. The mage and the archer died together, and he was completely frightened. How could these skeleton warriors be so terrifying? If I had known earlier, he wouldn't have come. It's not worth losing my life for an intermediate skill scroll. Use skills. Block him, don't let him escape. Lin Moyu gave the order. It is impossible for him to let the knight escape. Since he was gonna kill him, he will kill him clean. A red light appeared from the skeleton warrior's knife at the same time. Furious blow. Deals 200% damage to the target. Skeleton warriors with a strength of 3000 points doubled their damage immediately after using their skills. Also use skills. The ghosts of the knights and the skeleton warriors are scary enough, but they can still use skills, which is against the sky. The broadsword flashing red fell on the knight. The white light on the knight suddenly dimmed a lot. Then the second time, the third time. The ultimate defense lasts for one minute, which is when there is no attack. The more intense the attack is, the shorter the duration of the ultimate defense will be. Skeleton warriors desperately came up to activate their skills, and the duration of the ultimate defense was shortening sharply. Moreover, more skeleton warriors had surrounded him, cutting off the knight's retreat. Very hopeless. Ten seconds later, the knight was dismembered by the skeleton warrior with unwillingness. Either don't do it, or do it wholeheartedly, and don't be soft-handed when acting. This is what Lin Mohan told Lin Moyu, and Lin Moyu did the same. They're all dead? Ning Yi has not reacted yet. From the beginning to the end of the battle, it took about 20 seconds before and after. All three have been killed. But the instigator didn't even move, he just stood here. Lin Moyu nodded, Ning Yi was right, they were all dead. The skeleton warrior ran back, holding a lot of things. After the professional dies, the things in the storage space will fall out. The skeleton warrior picked them all up. Bronze level Carmen staff. Spirit plus 20, can increase the power of mage skills by 5%, available after level 18. Bronze level Carmen War Bow, Agility plus 20, increases the power of bow and arrow skills by 5%, available after level 18. Bronze level Cayman Sword, Strength plus 10, Constitution plus 10, increase the power of offensive skills by 5%, available after level 18. Bronze level Carmen's Shield, Constitution, plus 20, increase the effect of defensive skills by 5%, available after level 18. Four pieces of weapons and equipment are neatly placed in front of him. A bronze level weapon, with a bluish white light shining on the weapon, which is somewhat similar to the luster on the skeleton warrior. Ning Yi said, These are all weapons obtained from the copy of the Cayman Orc Legion. 
Lin Moyu was a little puzzled, he had never heard of this dungeon. Ning Yi saw that Lin Moyu didn't understand, and continued to explain, the Cayman Orc Legion dungeon is a level 20 dungeon outside Shaohai City, and the three of them often brush dungeons there. Lin Moyu nodded. These four pieces of bronze level equipment are useless to him, but they can be sold for some money. He unceremoniously put away the four pieces of bronze equipment, Ning Yi didn't say anything about it. There are still some materials left, such as wolf skins, animal bones, and young grass, which are not too many. Lin Moyu accepted all of them without hesitation. No matter how small a mosquito is, it is still meat and can be sold for money. Once you put away your weaponry and materials, there's only one thing left. Primary Skill Scroll Introduction Skills below level 20 can be obtained, and it is possible to obtain learned skills. Unexpectedly, it turned out to be a primary skill scroll. This scroll is worth 100,000 gold coins, which is very valuable. Lin Moyu held the scroll and was considering whether to use it himself or sell it for money. Ning Yi asked, You haven't used the primary skill scroll yet, have you? Lin Moyu shook his head, No. Then you can use it. Although there is a chance to acquire the skills you have learned, you may also learn new skills. No, you don't want to sell it for money, do you? Are you so short of money? A basic skill scroll, it's not a high-level scroll, it's not worth selling it. In Ning Yi's mouth, 100,000 gold coins didn't seem like much money, evidently she came from a very extraordinary family. Lin Moyu held the skill scroll, how do I use it? Ning Yi giggled, it's very simple, you just hold the scroll and say to use. Lin Moyu didn't doubt it, just took it and did it. Use. The scroll didn't move. Ning Yi said, oh, that's not right, you didn't speak loudly enough, you have to speak loudly to use it. Lin Moyu looked at her and didn't try a second time. He has never used it, but he is not stupid. What sound is too small, I don't believe it at all. Lin Moyu guessed how to use it when he was there, and directly activated the skill scroll with mental power. Ning Yi was looking at Lin Moyu expectantly, waiting for him to call out the word use. But Lin Moyu never barked. Suddenly, the skill scroll burst into brilliant light and enveloped Lin Moyu. Ning Yi let out a sound of disappointment, you found out. She wanted to tease Lin Moyu, but Lin Moyu found the correct way to use it. Failed. The skill scroll turned into a ball of light and enveloped Lin Moyu. Acquired skill, Corpse Burst. Corpse Burst, Level 1. Detonate the corpse and cause damage equal to 10% of the corpse's HP to enemies within 1 meter. Gained a new skill, and the scroll was not wasted. Corpse Burst is currently at Level 1, which means it is a skill that can only be mastered at Level 10. Looking at the skill introduction again, it seems that there is nothing outstanding at first glance. The range is only 1 meter, what is 1 meter enough for, it's too small. And the power is caused by the life value of the corpse. Lin Moyu can understand the life value of this corpse. In the eyes of the necromancer, the corpse is also alive. Its life comes from flesh and blood, from bones, and even from the soul. Even if you are dead, the life value in the corpse will not be less than when you were alive. With some strong examples, the corpses will not rot for thousands of years after death, and they will continue to emit huge energy. But Lin Moyu saw different information from it. This is a group attack skill. If he faces thousands of enemies, he can't rely on skeleton warriors to cut them one by one. That's too slow too. Only one enemy is killed at this time. Then he detonates the corpse, killing enemies within the skill range. Another enemy was blown to death and formed a corpse again. You can continue to detonate the corpses, one after another. As long as the mental power is not empty, the skills will not stop. Coupled with his talent, is the range of one meter a problem? Coupled with his amplification talent, the range has now reached 20 meters and the lethality has reached 200% equal to 200% of the corpse's vitality, another magical skill. As long as one's own talent exists, one's own skills are almost all divine skills. The scroll light dissipated. 
Ning Yi blinked her big eyes, looking expectant. How is it? Have you learned any new skills? Yeah, Lin Moyu didn't blame Ning Yi for teasing him just now. Ning Yi is just playful and mischievous, she is not so stingy as a big man. Ning Yi smiled happily, you have a nice voice, why don't you like talking? It's such a pity. Lin Moyu looked at her, this woman seemed different from those girls in his school. Very lively and playful. Your voice is nice too. Lin Moyu issued a rare compliment. It's not that he doesn't want to talk, it's just that he doesn't want to talk nonsense. In front of his sister Lin Mohan and grandma, he talked a lot. Ning Yi looked very happy, and said with a giggle, Thank you for the compliment, I also know that my voice is very nice. For the sake of saving me, and then praising me, I will give you this thing. Speaking of which, Ning Yi took out a box and stuffed it directly into Lin Moyu's hand. Intermediate Skill Scroll Introduction Skills between level 40 and level 70 can be awakened, and it is possible to obtain learned skills. In the exchange, the price of an intermediate skill scroll can be as high as 10 million gold coins, which is 100 times that of a primary skill scroll. It is expensive and precious. At least for the current Lin Moyu, it is a sky-high price. Ning Yi said that the people who chased her down was because of this scroll. How to say send it? 